Ibu, Ryan, I know you can't stop laughing. Um, first of all, Ibu, that was that was an interesting game against Wolves. Probably not one of Liverpool's best. How would you sum it up? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, Wolves was very good today. They start very well and was a little bit tough for us uh, the first half. After we score and we have a little bit of control of the game, and second half they come back to 1-1, and after we score to 1, and after I think it was a great battle until the end. But the more important is the three points, and we are very happy with that. Yeah, Ryan, after Liverpool score, but then what would you say about Ibu throughout the match? Because it was a little bit messy, wasn't it, for the equaliser? I know, I know, I think, but at the end we did really good, and... <laughs> <laughs> no, and uh, Ibu defended really well. You saw the last, the last second when he came. You cannot go past him because you know he's still yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <So big. laughs> That feeling, though, right now in this moment of time of being top of the Premier League, yes, it's really, really early, but you want to be in and around there, don't you, come the end? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think a team like Liverpool also always has to be like um, in the top four, for sure. And... Um, yeah, we keep pushing, we keep pushing, but it's still really early. What do you put today down to in terms of the overall performance, not being at the way that fans would expect Liverpool to be? No, but this is a Premier League. When you play a Premier League, every game it's very hard. And uh, OK, but the fans expect three points and we did it. This is a more important. Ed. Let's go home with the three points. Now we have an important game uh, Wednesday and we have to start the recovery now to be ready for that game. One of the things the manager spoke about earlier on this week before your League Cup tie was, was concentration. It was being 100% active. Was there a little bit of lapse of concentration throughout the game? Yeah, I think we missed a lot of concentration uh, today during the game because we missed so many easy balls. Me, so many players as well. And uh, we have to work on it. Everything cannot be perfect every time. And today we see it, but uh, we won. But we have to learn about what we, we missed today. And uh, I think, yes, we need more concentration and more focus during the game, and we have to work on it. Ryan, you mentioned the word perfect there. It was a, I wouldn't say it was a difficult season for you last season, but this season, you are shining. <laughs> no, no. Um, of course, uh, this season I want to show myself again, and uh, I think I'm, I'm in the right way, so I have to keep going, and, uh, and yeah, I'm happy so. Do you feel it's just the coaches breathing new life into you? Um, no, you just put me in the starting eleven and give me a, really, uh, a lot of confidence. And um, yeah, you see it. Um, um, I think I do really well. So. He's talking about confidence, Ibu. Would you like to present the player of the match award? I know, I know you, 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 you're doing it begrudgingly. Who decided who is the man of the match? How is this possible? How is this possible? It's my brother. I have to give to him. Milan, I score. Today, I score. I save one or two balls and I didn't deserve it. No, no, no. What, is, what happened? I know. You know. You have to talk with them. I don't know who decided. You deserve it as well. No, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Congratulations, my brother. Gary Thank you. Gary Neville. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Thank you very much. Brilliant camaraderie. It wasn't us. <laughs> we didn't decide. Yeah, no Gary on this panel. But I tell you what, in fact, both of them can take a lot of plaudits from what they've done so far this season. As Juliet mentioned there, Canarse, the strength at the back and what he brings to the defence. But Gravenberg and the way he's adopted himself as the, as the six in that side. Yeah, as you say, Canate already, you know, established, well yeah. established as a top centre half, a brilliant centre half is, you know, he's got everything and I think he could be, you know, the, the, the future of Virgil van Dijk's really in, a, in the, you know, the peak of his powers at the moment, but Canate's still got a bit to learn, he's still a little bit younger as well, so look forward to, to seeing him improve and, and maybe even get to Virgil's standard one day, you never know. Uh, Gravenberg is, is a little bit different, having to establish himself in the team. We all know that Liverpool went for one or two number sixes, uh, central midfield players in the summer, couldn't get them. So he's almost been put in there by default in a little way. Mm. Uh, but he's grasped his chance, I think. I mean, he's doing pretty well in there. You he's, might think he, like Liverpool still needs someone in that position, but he's done all right. He's done brilliantly well, but he's not a defensive midfield player. Which is fine, because when you play in teams like this, which they'll beat, um, he, look, he's, he's, he's 190 centimetres. You know, he's 22 years old, he's got everything. But he's not a specialist defensive midfielder, but there's a difference. I think he's a brilliant midfield player, he's a box to box, hmm. depending on who you play. But I think in a big game, in a one-off game, to go win a, a Premier League at Champions League, I think you need specialists. You know, Liverpool showed that with, with a Fabinho, or City showed that with a Rodri. 
I think they'll still address his position, but I think credit Gravenberg, you know, he's grabbed his chance, and that's all you need. He said, just, they said, what's different? He said, just play me. Yeah. You know, and, and that's all you need as a player. You need somebody to trust you, and he's proven it. I do think tougher tests will come, and then they'll see if, if that position, even the goal today, that's Liverpool's midfield. You know, he goes to press early. In, if you're going to be a defensive midfielder, you've got to be there on counterattacks. That's one of the most important things. So I, I love what he's doing, but I think, I think they'll still go get somebody. Okay, that's interesting. But let's have a look at Canarsay's contribution, because it was quite telling, wasn't it, after what was a pretty lackluster first half an hour spent. What's up, guys? I'm back here with another video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.